Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. You need help? Mister, you alive? Fucker, fuck. God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. Oh. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. He look like Santa Claus without the beard. <laughs> Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. Oh, I'm finished. Done. N.W. Dickens. Sit up straight, will you? You're gonna be all right, old man. Stop your babbling. All right. L2 to draw a weapon while driving. You can aim. Okay. This is. This is gonna be crazy right here, guys. I, I'm probably gonna have to protect him because he has like a uh, little hell. Get him back to the to the city. Oh shit! I'm, I'm hitting shit and uh oh, they coming. They coming. Hello. Oh, oh, keep straight. Keep straight. Oh, I remember this part though when I played it a while while back. This this right here was a. Was a difficult part. Fast, I, hey, hey, chill out, sure chill out. I got, I, I got this. I gotta get you to safety, and that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh shit! Oh my God! They're shooting us from behind. Come on, horses. Come on, don't, don't crap out on me. So, so as long as we keep them alive, we're good. Hold on, let me hit, let me hit this U-turn on though. Let me hit this U-turn. Get the hell out of the way, Cactus Dang. Oh, look. I... Get out of the way. Damn. Hold on. God damn. This is, this is multitasking at its finest. Oh, Lord. Get, get the fuck out of here. Oh, ran over. Oh, shit. Well, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying to get there. I'm trying. You just stay alive, low enough until we get there. Come on, horse. Build that stamina back up. Ah! Oh, we almost there. Uh, come on. There you go. We got it. I embrace you. We're here. Stay with me. Oh, where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe, you'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you, you're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir, and I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus, but if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for, for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. No homo. <laughs> All right, we got plus 75 fame, plus 100 honor. Cool. It's always appreciated. All right. Now, what's on the agenda now? Uh, Nigel Wounds will take some time to heal. While you are waiting, you could further explore New Austin. Okay. See, uh, new weapon, new weaponry is available at the local gunsmith. Spend your hard-earned dollars on increased firepower. Do I want to do that, or I think that uh, blue X right there is like a. If 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 I remember right, that's like a house or something. Like I I can get not not a house, it's like a residence, and I can actually save my game there, and that's what I need to do because I don't think I. I've saved since uh, since I began this session. So that's what I'm gonna do.
Hold on, this mother got a silly ass hat on too. We, we don't need to kill these motherfuckers. Look at, look at this mother. Look at this uh, look at this Rick James looking some bitch right here. Super freak, super freak, he's super freak ass. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Uh, okay. Well, too late. I was, I was thinking about buying it, but as soon as I went into it and I pressed the damn thing, it made me buy it. Okay, so, oh, okay, so it is what I thought it was. They are what we thought they were. <laughs> like Dennis Green said, when he was a head coach for the Cardinals and they played the, um, the Bears. They are who, who we thought they were. I could change my clothes and everything here. Okay. But well, we're going to save the game first. That's the most important thing. Cause I definitely. All right, guys, we're we're uh, upsy daisy on our feet, feeling refreshed. It's a new day, and ready to get after it. You know, same day for you guys, but a different day for John Marston. All right. Um. Now they they told me to explore New Austin a little bit. I can let me see. You know what? I want to check out this. Uh, Use wanted posters to begin hunting a bounty target. Okay. I'm not going to do that right now. I want to go to the gunsmith. I want to see if I can get better guns. Where is the gunsmith? Is this the gunsmith? No, it's the barber. The barber and the dentist, huh? <laughs> like one of them hood places. that, that <laughs> One of them all-in-one spots. You know, you get your car washed, get your hair done, you get your dog uh, manicure. I don't know. All type of shit. You guys ever ran across places like that, man? I'm talking about just, just right in the hood, man. Just all you just get everything done. Those places was always like, you know, crazy to me. Okay. We got the gunsmith right here. Um let's talk to him. See see what you got. Nope, we can't put no price on safety. He ain't got nothing but animal. I want a gun. He ain't no gun. Everything is unavailable to me. So you got bait. I don't even know what's what is What's the info? Let's check that out. Tracks animals in the vicinity. Yeah. That's the only thing I can I can afford right now. Alright, can't sell anything either. Alright. Hell with you glasses wearing man. You need to lower your prices or or something. I don't know. I'm a I'm a disgruntled customer. <laughs> Alright, do I need to check uh Check on old uh, Nigel. How would Armadillo get by without me? Okay. What the fuck was that? Did you see that shit? Mail type of goddamn Friday the 13th shit was that? Let me get up out of here. Hell no. Nah. That motherfucker possessed. You see how he jumped up? That ain't normal, guys. That'll never be normal. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know if I need to go back to Bonnie or what. See, that's the that's the biggest thing about games like this. It's so many choices. Sometimes you get overwhelmed and you just don't know what to do. All right, hold on. Let's uh, let's go to the map. I'm thinking I'm gonna go back to Bonnie, guys. That's that's what I think. All right, let me set the waypoint. Um. All right, tell you what, we're gonna go back in this in this doctor's office and talk to the doctor. If he can't uh, tell me anything. About now he's back sleeping. What the fuck is that shit? All right, let's talk to the doctor. Hello, sir. Okay, he ain't, he ain't doing numbers. Selling the same old, same old. All right. Yeah. I think I need to go back to Bunny because all I wanted to do was actually, you know, buy a gun or something like that. Now I can probably like do a bounty or whatever, but yeah, I I rather go back and see what uh what Bunny's talking about. So let me uh call my horse real quick. That him, yeah, that's him right there. All right, all right, buddy. Sorry, I gotta put you to work again, but we need to get back to where Miss Bunny is at. All right, guys, I'm probably gonna hit you with another transition and come back once we get there. All right, guys, we're back at the ranch, and uh, yeah, let me just start off. I know I could have took the stagecoach here. But the stagecoach is like, what, $9 or something like that. And, you know, I think I'm working with like $29, right? Let me make sure. 
yeah, yeah. I'm working with like twenty nine dollars right now, so it wasn't you know anything but like you know really right up the road, you know, skipping a hop, honestly. So it's not a big deal. All right, let's get off the horse and whoa, look at him. <laughs> Take those baby steps. Yeah, I was I was wondering why he fall when he jumped out, but let's uh, see what the deal is with Bonnie. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson, to settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks. Trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true, especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her... Well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man, in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. All right, guys, we learned a lot about old John Marston there. You know, he's about his parents and you know so yeah, we know about his past now now we're gonna uh well, I'm, all, I'm on the horse lady I'm waiting on you all right now we're gonna go herd some cows guys yeah old old John had a rough life man it must have been hard for you I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. Good to see you, Miss McFarland. Easy now. 
move into position behind the herd. Okay, hold on. Let's let's, let's get it together. Let me... Okay, let's let's see what we can get. Oh shit, we jumping over shit. Hold on, I don't want to do that, Mr. Horsey. Can we can, can we get back over? What the fuck? Hold on, how the? I can't. I just jumped over it. Hold on, this this horse is is it's crazy. There we go. All right. We need to need to get them through that little X right there, guys. This is gonna be this is be this is gonna be more difficult than what it looks, guys. All right, get 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 through the X. Go 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 go. Damn it, I say go go. What I supposed to do? <laughs> Hold on, I supposed to whistle. What? what the fuck? This is not the way this is supposed to go. I'm trying to, lady. Hold on. Let me let me let's get myself situated. All right, come on. Let's, let's, let's turn around. Let's turn, turn. There you go. Turn around. All right, Come let's... on. We need to get these cows out of the pen and onto the road before we all die of boredom. All right. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Can I get you? Can I get you to move for me? Hold on. Let's. All right. Let me. Let me just go in the X. Let me. Let me just go in the X. Let me see if that that does anything. Herd the cows to the pen. All right. Where Where the hell is the pen? Is are we already in the pen? Get behind the. Hold on, I can't even see. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Cool. I had to get in the X first. I wasn't even looking, guys. Story of my damn life. All right, now we can. Uh, all right. Now we just slowly just stay behind them. Where are you at? I don't even see. Okay, you right there. All right. All right. I'm gonna, all right. Well, you lead, then, and I'll follow. <laughs> like we on Twitter or something. I will follow you. Right, hold on, let me just take it easy. Hold on, no, no, slow down, slow down, slow down. You know you can't catch me. <laughs> ah, that song is stuck in my head. Look at the, look at the crazy cows running into to damn rock and shit. The Chick Fil A cows, guys. The Chick Fil A cows. That's their name. But yeah, you guys, man, let me know, you know, if you guys ever played this game, what you guys think about it. Uh, is this series, you know, interesting to you guys? Do you guys like it? You know, let me know all that down in the comment section. You know, as far as, like, me, like, you know, I really enjoy it. I, I like a lot of Rockstar games. All right, now we got a, now we got a big herd. Look how many cows we got now. All of them screaming, eat more chicken. Let's <laughs> uh, to drive the herd. Move, let's go. Okay. Oh, to look at the herd. Oh, I'm looking at them. I got my eyes right on them. Okay, so we just stay right behind them. Let's go. Okay. No stop. I can. Let's go. And I can keep pressing it to get them riled up, going in the right direction. Cool. This is nice though. This is this is a nice little touch for them to add this in the game like that. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. Five dollars for all that? That was a lot of damn work for five dollars. I can't even, uh... I can't even buy me a motherfucking me, uh, spicy chicken meal or some shit. I can't, I, I can't get nothing with that. It's, it's not enough. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need more next time. I'm gonna need more than that. I feel like I got, I got tricked. <laughs> nah, but five dollars had to been a lot of money back in the day, man. Had to been, you know, compared to how much stuff costs nowadays. Like a dollar is like just not even anything, you know. Like you see stuff for a dollar, you think it's cheap, man. And really, that's, you know, back in the day, there was highway robbery for the, you know, the amount that we get for a dollar nowadays. It's crazy, but, um. Let's see. Where am I going with this? Uh, we got two spots now. We got Marshall Johnson and we got, hold on, let me zoom in a little closer. We got Nigel. Which one do I want to go? I want to go to Nigel or I want to go to the Marshall? Decisions, decisions, decisions. Uh, I'm going to go with old Dickens. 
The damn Dickens man. All right, guys. Gonna head back to. Gonna head back to Armadillo. All right, let's get to it. That's it for right now, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and a fave. Next episode coming soon. Stay tuned.